Hello everyone and welcome back to MixBest TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and today we have another no bullshit, no hype gear review video. Look what we got here. Arguably one of the most interesting and talked about unit out there right now. The Silver Bullet by Louder Than Liftoff. They sent me this unit to review after many of you out there specifically asked for a Mixbus TV test of this processor. And so Brad contacted me and we made this happen. Thank you guys for the support and the vote of confidence. So a really quick overview of the unit before we go into connections and functionality details. The heart of the silver bullet. Two different tone amps that you can run in any combination. These are what give us the saturation and the color. A for the API flavor and for the Neve flavor. Specifically designed to work in hybrid setups, what makes this unit unique is that once you hooked it up, you can use it as two bus saturator and color box for your entire mix, a stereo mic preamp to drive all types of microphones or a passive summing mixer, a single or stereo track color box for synth, samplers, drum machines, or track directly sent from your DAW. And you can switch between all these functions just by twisting this mode knob here without the need of a patch bay or cable swapping. How? Stay with me and I'll show it to you. If you're not familiar with this unit, let me introduce it to you. So what's the Silver Bullet? A very well thought out and versatile unit, I must say. They call it Tone Amp. It's a two bus processor to add saturation and color and weight to your mix. Some analog mojo as it says on the tin. It has a useful band XL EQ section for sweetening and broad correction, we'll see that later. It is also a high-end stereo preamp, it can be used to track with microphone as well as line level signals. So not only you can plug your mics into it and use it as a preamp, but you can also directly input synths, samplers, drum machines or tracks directly coming from your DAW to add color and saturation either when tracking or at the mixing stage. The great thing about all these possibilities, you can do any of that without patching or swapping cables. Once it's hooked up, you can select the input and output you want to use by simply turning the mode selector switch here on the front panel. Pretty clever. So let's take a look at the back panel now. Let me explain you how you can connect this thing to multiple ADDAs, microphones and line level signal simultaneously. From right to left, we have two microphone inputs, condenser dynamic or ribbon microphones go here. And it also has a mic plus mode for quieter sources, more gain. You can select this mic plus mode from the front panel. Quick tip, this can be used with passive summing mixers like the Fulcrum. Using the silver bullet as a makeup gain, you can have any combination of the tone amps. Track inputs, these are balanced line level input with combo connectors. These are for your synths, drum machines, mixer channels, compressors, or the outputs of a converter for printing tracks. Mix inputs, another pair of line level input. Combo connectors for connecting your two bus output from your DAW or analog console. These connections are for two bus processing use. Next is the balanced stereo insert with TRS connectors. Then we have track outputs, balanced XLR. They output the signal from either the mic inputs or track inputs. Mix outputs, balanced XLR again, they output the signal coming from the mix input. See, the way the connections are set up is a major point as to why the unit is so versatile. Having redundant inputs and outputs is what allows you to switch the signal path from mic to track to mix mode from the front panel without having to swap cables or use a patch bay. Now front panel, from left to right, mode selector switch chooses which set of inputs and outputs are being processed through the tone amps. The bypass setting can be used as a global hard bypass when we use this as a two bus processor. Polarity switch and phantom power buttons for both preamps. Mojo selector chooses which mojo amp is processing the signal A, N or A into N, N into A. All combos are possible. To control how much gain or color we inject into our signal, we have gain and output knobs for both the A and the N amp. And then in the middle, we have the swap button to swap the order of the amps when used in Cascade. On the right, we have the tide switch engages a 12 dB octave high pass filter at 20 Hertz. Very useful on the two bus to clean up unwanted sub frequencies. And it also gives a gentle resonant bump at 40 Hertz for a tape like response. 
The tone switch engages the simple but effective band XL EQ. Controls are low frequency, cut or boost, sub switch, which selects between bass and sub frequency, present switch, selects between air or present frequencies, high frequency cut or boost, and finally a vintage switch that alters the frequency response to emulate, they say, vintage British consoles. To top all of this off, we have a 20 segment meter that shows the output level of processing for all modes. Meter change color from blue to purple to pink to red. So you know how hard you're hitting the tone amps. And I gotta say, it looks pretty damn cool. I played with the unit for a few weeks before making this review, guys. I wanted to have a real life experience with it and get familiar with both the tone and the workflow. And I have to say it's very well thought out. It's designed to work in hybrid systems and it seamlessly integrates in both big and small setup for tracking and mixing. It also has an insert input so you can plug any piece of hardware or full chain of hardware. So this is it for the overview of the connections and functions. Now let's hear this thing in action. You know guys, I don't track, so we're going to hear the Silver Bullet as a two-bus processor on full mixes with all the combination of tone amps and also with some single tracks, stereo and mono coming from the DAW like you would if you had your line level signal coming in, synth, samplers and drum machines, stuff like that. And I'll switch between modes from the front panel to show you how easy it is to change mode while you're mixing. I'll shut my mouth during the playback, so check the description on the screen to see the settings, and I'll see you at the end of the video for the final thoughts. Here we go.
like a tiger in a cage. Ooh, ooh. And everything you do is good for nothing. Like a tiger in a cage. Ooh, ooh. And everything you do is good for nothing. Ooh, ooh. It seems everything's working against you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Breathe, breathe the world and find a way. Breathe, searching reasons, play your game and never, never give up. Like a tiger in a cage. Ooh, ah, ooh. And everything you do is good for nothing. Ooh, ah, ooh. It seems everything's working against you. Ooh, ah, ooh. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Breathe, breathe the world and find a way. Breathe, searching reasons, play your game and never, never give up. Yes.
strikes upon the home and suns begins to fade Still in our time to figure out how to chase my blues away
So this was the louder than liftoff silver bullet in action. And here's my final thoughts on it. This is closer to a long term review since I had this unit in my studio thanks to Brad for more than a month. So I can not only give you guys the first impressions, but I can tell you how it is to live and work with this machine for some time. I mixed at least one full album with it and use it on various things, drums, guitars for the most part, and two bus. And the very first thing I feel like saying is this is a very well designed unit very very versatile which means you get great bangs for your bucks it's not a cheap unit but not too expensive either it's a quality piece and you really get a lot with it you get two channels of the most ubiquitous flavors of preamps neve and api high quality preamps you get the power to drive passive summing mixers if you're into that you get the line level coloring for drum machines samplers as well as any track coming from your daw you get a nice band XL EQ. The build quality is top notch. Face plate is slick. Knobs are easy to turn, but not so that you move them by accident. They are all dented, which is something I love. Clear metering and plenty of connections. So who I think this unit is meant for it, who I think it should buy it, it would benefit from it the most. It's meant for hybrid systems. So basically any modern studio with a computer and some hardware no matter the size, but specifically I think hip-hop guys and EDM producers are going to fully take advantage and use all the features the Silver Bullet offers. Like in my case, I don't use preamps. It's still a great machine if you only do mixing and mastering, but you know what I mean. I wouldn't use a preamps, and in my case I already have two APIs. But hip-hop producers, home studio guys who often have to record vocals and samplers and drum machines, this is a one-stop shop kind of unit. And once it's hooked up, all you need to know to switch from one function to the other is just to turn the mode knob on the front panel. Again, very clever design. So you heard the samples. I hope this video was useful and I hope it helped giving you an idea of what this thing can do. Personally, I did like it very much. And that's a wrap. This is it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to click the like button. Join us on Facebook and Twitter to stay in touch with us and get all the news about the channels, upcoming videos and series, and access to exclusive content. Please keep supporting Mixbus TV by sharing the videos and spreading the word on blogs, forums, social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time, guys.